वेलकम अगेन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस लिथियम बेस्ड रिएजेंट्स इन ऑर्गेनिक सिंथेसिस सो ऑर्गेनो लिथियम कॉम्पाउंड्स आर ऑर्गेनोमेटली कॉम्पाउंड्स दैट कंटेन कार्बन लिथियम बॉन्ड्स एंड ड्यू टू हाई इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी डिफरेंस बिटवीन द कार्बन एटम एंड द लिथियम एटम द सी एल आई बॉन्ड इज हाईली आयोनिक ऑर्गेनो लिथियम कॉम्पाउंड्स आर हाईली रिएक्टिव एंड पायरोफोरिक दैट मीन्स दे आर मॉइस्चर सेंसिटिव इन ऑर्गेनिक सिंथेसिस एल्की लिथियम कॉम्पाउंड्स आर वाइल यूज एज ए वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग बेसिस न्यूक्लोफाइल्स एंड रिएजेंट्स फॉर मेटालिशंस प्रिपरेशन मोस्ट ऑफ द एल्की लिथियम रिएजेंट्स लाइक एन ब्यूटाइल लिथियम टर्सर ब्यूटाइल लिथियम एज सेकेंडरी ब्यूटाइल लिथियम दे आर कमर्शियली अवेलेबल इन ए भेराइटी ऑफ सॉल्वेंट्स ऑर्गेनो लिथियम कॉम्पाउंड्स कैन ऑल्सो भी प्रिपेयर इन द लेबोरेटरी ऑर्गेनो लिथियम रिएजेंट्स आर टिपिकली स्टोर्ड बिलो टेन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड रिएक्शन आर कॉन्डक्टेड यूजिंग एयर फ्री टेक्निक्स so today in the class we will first discuss preparation it constitutes reactions with lithium metal then we will discuss metallation then lithium halogen exchange then transmetallation and sapiro reaction also reactions of organo lithium compounds variety of reactions are possible as a nucleophile carbon lithiation reaction addition to carbonyl group acyl to type reactions we will discuss as a base metallation reaction as a super base we will discuss some reactions asymmetric metallation also is possible we will discuss with chiral ligand and enolate chemistry also lithium halogen exchange reactions and transmetallation reactions also some name reactions with organo lithium compounds like 1 to 2 3 sigma hutig rearrangement sapiro olefination and peterson olefination and lastly parham cyclization we will discuss so first discuss preparation of organo lithium compounds and reaction with lithium metal alkyl and aryl organo lithium reagents can be prepared by reduction of alkyl halide with metallic lithium in industry generally this method is used for the preparation of organo lithium reagents and the conversion is highly exothermic so lot of heat is generated heat is generated suppose if the alkyl halide reacted with two equivalent of lithium metal then you get the rli and lithium x and in industry n butyl lithium suppose n butyl bromide plus two lithium it will generate n butyl lithium plus lithium bromide so butyl lithium is prepared in this way you have to react with two equivalent of metallic lithium preparation of functionalized lithium reagent using reduction with lithium metal lithium metal is used sometimes in the form of fine powders in the reaction with certain compounds such as naphthalein or 4,4 ditarsal butyl biphenyl so this is butyl this is dtpb and when this vinyl chloride is treated with lithium 5 equivalent with dtpb then the vinyl lithium species is formed some more preparation that is the metallation as known as lithium hydrogen exchange so the ch bond is converted to c lithium the relative acidity of hydrogen atom controls the position of lithiation and tendency to form the c lithium bond depends on stability of the r group as a negative ion because ultimately the r group will carry a negative charge so stability can be measured by the acidity of the corresponding carbon acid 2,3 pK unit difference is sufficient to drive the reaction to completion up to 98 percent, though greater pK difference is desirable. Like here, the alkene CH, they are stronger acids, and when R lithium or R2 N lithium, they are converted to the lithiated compounds, and R H and R2 N H, they should be weaker acids compared to the CH because so that the uh, reaction will go to the forward direction the stabilization of carbon so i functional group allows the order so you can put here some functional group and if there is a nitro group then the stabilization will 
will be much better of this species, lithiated species. Then the ketone, then ester, then sulfonyls, cyano, CONHR, halide, H and R. So, normal alkyl group, this is the host and this will be very fast process. Preparation of organ ortho metallation, metallation of an aromatic ring near a substrate which acts as directed metallation group is called ortho metallation. So, this is a very popular method and several group can function as DMG directed metallation group like sulfones, sulfonamides, amines, amides, carbamates, thio and methoxy groups. They have in common the ability to coordinate the approaching cation that is the lithium ion and or to increase the acidity of the ortho hydrogen. So, both they do the binding with binding with lithium and increase acidity of C H. So, they also increase the acidity like if a DMG group is present in the phenyl ring then the R lithium if is used then the ortho lithiation will happen and then this um, Phenyl lithium compound you can treat with different electrophiles to incorporate the electrophilic group here. What is the mechanism? So, suppose this is the oxazoline, oxazoline motif is present at the uh, acting as a DMG group. Now, butyl lithium is treated, you get the butane back, and then this lithium, which is stabilized also by this nitrogen, and then methyl iodide treatment this compound with a methyl group at the aromatic ring. Also this carbamate, so this is carbamate, when treated with TMDA, TMSO triplet ether, you get the first the silylation here because this is quite acidic and now if you treat again TMEDA to equivalent butyl lithium to equivalent you get the ortho lithiation. And after that, if you treat with DMF, so DMF is this ACO NME2. And after treatment with DMF, you get so you get this intermediate. And after treatment with 2 molar NOH, you get this salicylaldehyde. Salicylaldehyde. Also, this sulfonamide can act as a directing group. Here, also, treatment with butyl lithium 1.2 equivalent followed by electrophilic, you get the electrophile incorporated at the ortho position and defined electrophile can be used methyl iodide D2O, Br, CH2, CH2Br, iodine, DMF, TMS chloride, etc. So, defined groups can be incorporated there at the ortho position of this sulfonamide using just butyl lithium. Also, this carboxylic acid derivative 2 methoxy benzoic acid when treated with S butyl lithium, secondary butyl lithium TMADA 2.2 equivalent is THA followed by treatment with electrophilic reagent you get the electrophile at the 6 position. So, this is 6 position. On the other hand, if you treatment with N butyl lithium potassium tertiary butoxide, so this is super base, we will discuss later also. With super base, you get the lithiation at the 3 position and the electrophile comes at the 3 position. And defined electrophile can be incorporated methyl iodide, trimethylsilane, C2Cl6, iodine, DMF, benzaldehyde, etc. So, this is the overall reaction. Now, what could be the mechanism of this reaction? So, when secondary butyl lithium and TMEDA is used, then this kind of PLC is formed. Pre lithiation complex. Here, the carboxylate anion is generated. And this is coordinated with the secondary butyl lithium, which is also connected with solvent or TMADA. This means solvent or TMADA or RLI aggregate. And then this is the proposed transition state where another molecule of lithium is here, which activates this CH. And now this secondary butyl group attacks this hydrogen and lithium comes here, and you get this 
6 position metallation after that treatment with the electrophilic reagent you get this compound. On the other hand treatment with N butyl tertiary butyl potassium tertiary butoxide in 1 is to 1 ratio 4 equivalent in THF at minus 70 degree centigrade the diane and arranging from the metallation in C3 form preferentially. So, the metallation happens here under this condition and quenching with iodomethane followed by hydrolysis provided the acids C3 product in 51 percent yield. So, this is 51 percent and remaining other products are also forming. So, in the preparation of organolithium compounds the lithium halogen exchange is a popular method where you have to use an commercially available alkyl lithium and you have to react with an halide and you get Rx and this is the newly generated lithium compounds. The halogen metal in exchange reaction was discovered by Gilman and Huttig in the late 1930s and tertiary butyl lithium. So, we told that commercially available like tertiary butyl lithium or n butyl lithium are the most commonly used reagents for generating new organolithium species through lithium halogen exchange. The reaction is extremely fast and often proceed at minus 60 to minus 120 degree centigrade. And lithium halogen exchange is kinetically controlled and the rate of exchange is primarily induced influenced by the stabilities of the carbon and intermediates sp, sp2, sp3 of the organolithium reagents. Lithium halogen exchange is mostly used to prepare mainly vinyl and aryl lithium reagents. Like if you treat parabomotoloin with n butyl lithium metal n butyl lithium the reaction at the CH3 that is the CH2 Li generation will be very much slow. On the other hand the metal halogen exchange that is the this one is bro bromine will be replaced by lithium and this process is very fast. So, you can easily generate this newly generated organolithium compound. The halogen metal exchange between aliphatic substrates is less common because of its limitation that the reaction is most often an equilibrium and side reaction like elimination, scuffling and alpha metallations are possible. So, this method is mainly useful for the generation of vinyl and aryl lithium reagents. Transmetallation here another metal is reacted with n butyl lithium. So, this exchange happens this a uh, metal exchange with the lithium and n butyl becomes n butyl metal. Organolithium reagents can be prepared by a metal metal exchange reaction known as transmetallation reaction. Using this method vinyl lithium can be prepared using vinyl stalin synthesized from terminal alkyne. So, if you treat this terminal alkyne with tributyl tin hydride then this vinyl stalin Vinyl stannin is formed and this is the syn addition. And now with treatment with n-butyl lithium you get this vinyl lithium species. Also this transmetallation reaction proceeds with retention of configuration that is we told stereospecific and the indirection that places the more electropositive metal in the more stable carbon and position. So, similarly this terminal alkyne with a OTBDS group syn addition happens of tributyl tin hydride to generate this species and then n butyl lithium transmetallation you get this vinyl lithium. Sapiro reaction also is a popular method. Sapiro reaction was discovered by Robert H. Sapiro in 1967. In this reaction a ketone or aldehyde is converted to an alkene through an intermediate hydrazone in the presence of two equivalents of organolithium reagents. So, this is the hydrazone when treated with two equivalent of n butyl lithium this vinyl lithium species is formed when it is treated with electrophile this electrophile is incorporated in this double bond. What is the mechanism? So, the carbonyl com compound first reacted with tosyl hydrazin. So, this is the tosyl hydrazin to get the hydrazone. And after that one equivalent of butyl lithium will deprotonate this NH because this is quite acidic to generate this lithiated species. And after that second equivalent of butyl lithium will deprotonate this hydrogen 
to join this lithiated species and after that rearrangement will happen followed by elimination of SO2 AR to join this diimide and now the nitrogen elimination we generate this vinyl lithium which on treatment with electrophile we generate the electrophilic um, incorporated olefins. As nucleophile now we will discuss different reactions of organolithium compounds. So, they are used as a nucleophile in various reactions. So, first we will discuss carbolithiation reaction. Catalytic asymmetric conjugate additions of organolithium reagents to alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds is possible. Like here you can see this is an A star alpha beta unsaturated A star. A star and when it is treated with n butyl lithium and this is spartin this is the chiral amine. So, what happens this chiral amine binds with lithium and generate a chiral lithium species. So, chiral lithium species is formed and this chiral lithium species that is the n butyl lithium uh, now the butyl group this is butyl group is coming from this n butyl lithium which adds selectively to give this product conjugate addition product in 85 percent enantiomeric excess toluene at minus 78 degree centigrade with 95 percent yield. It was published in JOC. Catalytic asymmetric conjugate addition of aryl lithium reagents also is possible this is alkyl lithium. So, this is alkyl lithium and this is aryl lithium. To here also this is the alpha beta unsaturated tertiary butyl ester lithium at the ortho position of this methyl group and now this diether when this diether this is C 2 symmetric diether C 2 symmetric this is chiral. So, this diether coordinates with this lithium and now the chiral lithium chiral lithium species is generated. This chiral lithium species adds selectively to this alpha beta unsaturated ester to give this product in 88 percent enantiomeric excess and in toluene solvent minus 78 degree centigrade and the yield is also very good 90 percent yield. So, these methods are very efficient you can get the product in high yield when alkyl lithium and aryl lithiums are added to alpha beta unsaturated ester with a ligand suitable ligand like spartin or this kind of diether. Reactions of organolithium compounds, so as nucleophile carbolithiation reaction also is very well known. Asymmetric conjugate addition of lithium amides to alkenoids, this is an example. Here, this one is F1 auxiliary. And when you treat this compound with lithium dimenzyl amide in THS solvent and minus 70 degree centigrade, the conjugate addition happens and to a new generate chiral center is formed here. Now, because of this two chiral center, the diastomeric excess will be observed D E D E is diastomeric excess. So, you get 91 percent yield in 58 percent diastomeric excess and if you recrystallize then you get higher than 98 percent diastomeric excess. And after cleavage and deprotection, so this can be cleaved and this can be deprotect, then you get beta amino acid and these are very useful amino acid. So, here also you get the enhanced selectivity will be preserved. This was published in Tetterdon later. Now, intramolecular carbolithiation that is the intramolecular 
कॉन्जुगेट एडिक्शन सो इफ यू यूज दिस एल्किल आयोडाइड विथ ट्रिफिल वन प्रेजेंट हायर दबसेंट कैन बी फिनाइल और टार्सारि ब्यूटाइल एंड नाउ इफ यू यूज टार्सारि ब्यूटाइल लिथियम एज दिस लिथियम रियक्टेंट एंड माइनस सेवेंटी एट डिग्री सेंटिग्रेड उथ दिस सल्भेंट यू गेट दिस मेटल हेलोजन एक्सचेंज एंड यू गेट दिस लिथियम नाउ द इंट्रामिकुलर सो इफ यू सी दिस वन टू वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सो फाइव एंडो डिग फाइव एंडो डिग सैक्लाइजेशन उल हैपेन एंड यू गेट दिस भिनाइल लिथियम एंड आफ्टर ट्रीटमेंट उथ ब्रोमिन दिस लिथियम उल बी रिप्लेस बाई ब्रोम and you get this vinyl bromide and this compounds are obtained in 57 to 96 percent so both intramolecular as well as intramolecular conjugate addition is possible to generate newly functionalized compound now we will discuss addition to carbonyl group so earlier we discussed to the double bond now we discussed to the carbonyl group and nucleophilic organolithium reagents can add to electrophilic carbonic double bonds to form carbon carbon bonds four tertiary butyl cyclohexanone so four tert butyl cyclohexanone when treated with methyl lithium then this product is the major so this is the major this is minor so methyl wants to stay in the equatorial position that is the equatorial attack so equatorial attack is favorable interestingly when no additive is there then this selectivity is 65 is to 35 alternatively when lithium chloride is used as an additive then the selectivity increases to 92 is to 8 so this is very remarkable that this product can be formed in 92 percent selectivity when lithium chloride is used this was published in joc ethyl lithium is added to adamantanone to obtain tertiary alcohol so this process is general different substances can be used like here adamantone adamantone is treated with ethyl lithium ethyl group is incorporated a quaternary alcohol is formed in 97 percent yield this was published in this journal in this reaction ketogen form when the organolithium reagents used in excess due to chelation of the lithium ion between n methoxy oxygen and the carbonyl oxygen so this is called oen reb amide so this is very special reaction of oen reb amide this is oen reb amide this group is present n methoxy methyl and now when it is treated with alkyl lithium what will happen this alkyl lithium will add here and now this compound will be stable this lithiated compound because this lithium will be coordinated with this methoxy group also with this alkoxy group so that this compound is stable and that is the ketone is not formed in situ only after acidic work up you get the ketone is form this was published in anguande this is very important method to convert convert carbonyl compounds or amides to ketone alkyl or aryl lithium so this is very important you get an oen reb amide the alkyl addition happens so the here no alcohol is formed so this is very important no alcohol is formed because this complex is stable and after aqueous work up only the ketone is liberated more 
example addition to carbonyl groups so we'll discuss now enones so in enones there are two sites for nucleophilic addition one to addition to the carbonyl compound carbonyl carbon on the other hand one for conjugate addition to the beta carbon that is thermodynamically favorable process conjugate addition can be achieved by through equilibration isomerization of the two product by adding donor ligands to the reaction forms heteroatom stabilized lithium species which favors one for conjugate addition as for example addition of low level of hmpa to the solvent favors one for addition in the absence of donor ligand lithium plus is closely coordinated to the oxygen atom and in the absence of donor ligand you get the one to addition when lithium plus solvated by hmp the coordination between carbonyl oxygen and lithium ion is weakened suppose this is cyclohexenone cyclohexenone is treated with this diethyl lithiated species and at minus 78 degree centigrade there are possibility of two product this is one for addition product this is one to product and interestingly when thap is used this one to adduct is forming 99% selectivity so this product is major on the other hand when two equivalent of hmpa is there then this one for addition product that is the conjugate addition product is forming as the major product so what could be the plausible mechanism so this is the one to addition mechanism that the lithium is binding with the oxygen carbonyl oxygen that's what here closely coordinated to the oxygen atom and now this one to addition because this is close to the carbonyl that one to add attack we possible on the other hand when hmp is there then this oxygen lithium bond is not there that bond is weakened because hmp binds with the lithium and now this r minus is naked and there this is the thermodynamically stable product because there is no coordination of the lithium with the carbonyl oxygen so only the one for addition product will be possible this was published in joc more examples so mark and do point synthesis synthesis of fa virenes a potent hiv reverse transcriptase inhibitor here lithium acetylide is added to a prochiral ketone to give chiral alcohol so this is the reaction that lithium species here acetylide lithium acetylide is added to this ketone here some functional group are present amine group is there and r is equal to paramethoxy benzyl group so pmb and this is the ligand and this is also a lithiated alkoxy lithium compound with a secondary amine and two chiral centers are present and this compound is form that is the addition product is form in 98% enantiomeric excess so this is a very important reaction you can get this compound in 98% enantiomeric excess and in 95% yield and after that this can be cyclized with a, a carbonyl activated carbonyl compound like phosgene you can get this compound f of hydrogens and this is the tetramer that is the Uh, active reaction intermediate was determined by enamas spectroscopy studies in the solution state and x-ray crystallography of the solid state to be a cubic 2 is to 2 dimer so here two equivalent of ligand is present and two equivalent of this lithium acetylide and this makes a tetramer compound you can see here lithium oxygen lithium carbon lithium carbon lithium lithium oxygen so like this tetramer is formed and which gives so this is chiral so this chiral lithium species adding selectively to the carbonyl compound this is the enantiomer selective addition of lithium acetylide in the synthesis of hiv drug this was published in jax SN2 type reactions also possible organoleptic lithium reagents can act as nucleophiles and carry out SN2 type reaction with alkyl or allylic halides organoleptic lithium compounds are considered to be more reactive than gigran reactions in alkylation however their use is still limited due to competing side reactions such as radical reactions metal halogen exchange because many side reactions are there so they are more reactive more reactive 
than Gignard. So when Gignard addition may not take place due to steric region, you can use this lithium compounds. And this is the SN2 substitution reaction, SN2 reaction here. And this benzyl lithium species is added to this group here 100 percent inversion is possible. Secondary I will proceed with inversion because this is SN2 mechanism, SN2 mechanism tells inversion of stereochemistry will be there. As base also it is does many reaction tertiary butyl lithium is strongest commercially available base. And LDA lithium diisopropyl amide, this we already discussed earlier, and lithium B dimethyl silyl amide, LIHMDS, are sterically hindered for nucleophilic addition because of bulky R groups and are thus more selective toward deprotonation. So, they are hindered base, not as a nucleophile. The reactivity and selectivity of these bases are influenced by solvents and other counter anions. And this already we discussed metallation reaction known as lithium or lithium hydrogen exchange like DMG, RLI, you get this lithium species. After treatment with bromide, you get this bromide compound, DMG directed metallated group. Also, and triple bond, we already discussed this is sp hybridized, so they are more stable. You can deprotonate with N butyl lithium and lithium acetylide is formed, and butane is the side product. As super base, the basicity of organolithium species can be increased by addition of potassium alkoxide to alkyl lithium and super base are those organic compounds whose basicity is greater than proton sponge. So, this is proton sponge. LIC QOR, LIC denoting the alkyl lithium and QOR depend, denoting the potassium alkoxide are the most common super base which can be formed by addition of potassium tertiary butoxide to butyl lithium. Like this reaction you can see this is cis to butene, cis to butene when treated with the super base, so this here super base is there and you get the deprotonation here and after that you get this treatment with this uh, triisopropyl borate. Triisopropyl borate, you get this compound CH3, CH2, B, O isopropyl, O isopropyl. This intermediate is formed. After that, HCl, you get this deprotection, and after that, uh, reacted with tartarate. Tartarate, diisopropyl tartarate. You get this allyl boronate species. So, this is allyl boron compound. This formed and this is chiral, chiral allyl boron because this is now tartarate is there. So, this is C2 symmetric and 99 percent Z. So, this stereochemistry is not disturbed, it is retained and this compound. This compound when treated with this normal aliphatic aldehyde, then this reaction, allylation reaction happens and you get the product in 72 percent. So, this is the syn product. So, this is the reagent which is added to the aldehyde and you get this allylation. So, allylation happens. Asymmetric metallation is possible, the enantiomeric ratio of chiral lithium species is often influenced by the difference in rate of deprotonation. Enanso enriched organolithium species can be obtained through asymmetric metallation of prochiral substrate. A chiral ligand such as spartin is used for the asymmetric induction, this already we have seen. In the presence of spartin, n bock n benzyl amine treated with n butyl lithium to obtain one enantiomer or the product with high enantiomeric excess. Suppose this n bock compound when treated with this butyl lithium and spartin and this is the paramethoxy phenyl compound, uh, th this is the substrate, paramethoxy phenyl substrate and then this lithium species is chiral because this spartin is chiral, so lithium species form is chiral and after treatment with methyl triplet, you get the methylation. 
and 94% enantiomeric excess is formed. So, this is very useful or uh, this is the uh, carbamate. So, this is carbamate compound and this is the chiral center chiral lithium is formed uh, in very good enantiomer selectivity uh, after methylation the product is formed in 94 percent enantiomeric excess. So, enantiomer selective synthesis with n butyl lithium in the presence of spartin. However, the first highly enantiomer selective lithiation was reported by Hope. So, we will discuss now the bulky carbamate helps to pre prevent nucleophilic addition into the carbamate. So, this is bulky carbamate, bulky carbamate and this also is achiral. So, this carbamate is achiral, this is not chiral center, two both groups are same. This compound when treated with secondary butyl lithium and spartin, earlier we have seen any butyl lithium, here secondary butyl lithium is used and this species is formed. So, lithium adds selectively from a side and this lithium is coordinated with this <coughs> carbamate oxygen to give it intermediate like this and after that uh, electrophilic treat, uh, treatment with different electrophiles will give this product it higher than 95 percent enantiomeric excess in 52 to 81 percent yield and defined R group is possible here this R can be methyl isopropyl this is isopropyl and this is normal <laughs> hexane hexyl group also tin trimethyl tin compound can be incorporated here carboxylic acid group after treatment with carbon dioxide and methyl group from the methyl iodide you can get defined uh, compounds here electrophilic compounds and angukemi was the published this journal. Bach pyrrolidin also is asymmetrically lithiated with secondary butyl lithium spartin and reacts selectively with a variety of electrophiles. So, this is the n Bach pyrrolidin. So, this is important the Bach group that oxygen will bind with the lithium that we have seen here. So, that Bach group presence of Bach group is important and after secondary butyl spartin you get this lithium species and after treatment with electrophile, the electrophile is incorporated here and defined electrophile you can see moderate to high yields and high enantiomeric excess like TMS chloride 96 percent E, PACO, PH it is ketone you can get a alcohol here 90 percent, CO2 carboxylic acid group will come 88 percent enantiomeric excess, dimethyl sulphate methyl group will come 94 percent and tributyl tin chloride a tin compound will be generated 96 percent enantiomeric excess and this was published in JAX. So, this is very useful method to do a alpha functionalization of the pyrrolidin, n buck pyrrolidin just by treatment to its secondary butyl lithium spartin followed by different electrophile and you can get a different type of compounds. Enolate chemistry also is very popular, deprotonation of a CH bond alpha to carbonyl group by an organolithium species results in the formation of organolithium species. Lithium enolates are widely used as nucleophiles in carbon-carbon bond formation reactions such as aldol condensation and alkylation. They act as an important intermediate for the formation of silyl enol ether. And a monomeric LDA reacts with carbonic substrate to form a cyclic Zimmerman Traxler type transition state. This we will discuss. And the E enolate is favored due to an unfavorable syn pen interaction in the Z enolate transition state. So, this is an A star. When treated with LDA, what will happen? The enolate will form, and here R is equal to methoxy. So, this methoxy is here. And now the deprotonation will happen from this hydrogen and you get a enolate. So, this is this oxygen, this oxygen here and this one will bind with the lithium and this hydrogen, this hydrogen one hydrogen is here and another hydrogen is here. This one hydrogen will bind with the amine nitrogen and this is the Zimmerman taxa transition state and you can see this methyl group is in the equatorial. So, this is equatorial this is stable and you get the E enolate that is favored. On the other hand when methyl group is in the axial, so methyl is in axial then this syn pentane interaction is there with this isopropyl group and this 
J denolate is not favorable. So, this is favored and this only form E enolate when you treat an ester or carbonyl compound with LDA. Lithium halogen exchange, organo lithium reagents are also prepared through lithium halogen exchange, this was already we discussed and like this compound a double bond and alkyl iodide when treated with tertiary butyl lithium that lithium species will form the exchange will happen and then this is the protic source then you get the uh, removal. So, iodine is liberated, iodine is removed. So, this is a very useful method to remove an halide group from a alkyl halide and only the olefin is formed here. Also aromatic exchange also is possible here, tertiary butyl lithium, the metal halogen exchange you get the lithium here, also vinyl bromide you can get the vinyl lithium this already we discussed and different reactions now you can do with this reagents. Like here this vinyl bromide when treated with 2 equivalent tertiary butyl lithium and THA minus 120 degree centigrade and you get this lithium species and this lithium species when treated with n octyl, n octyl bromide and this n octyl bromide is incorporated here. So, this is the n octyl group which is coming from this n octyl bromide. So, lithium vinyl lithium is formed and then after that reaction. So, this is a very useful method to increase the chain length. So, here nothing is there only bromine then you do the metal halogen exchange with tertiary butyl lithium and after that quenching with this bromide. Morphine can be synthesized by lithium halogen exchange method the nucleophile carbon ion center quickly undergoes carbolithiation to the double bond genetic and anion stabilized by the adjacent sulfone group and intramolecular acid to reaction by the anion from the cyclic backbone. So, this is the reaction and here you can this alpha beta unsaturated sulfonyl and this is the aromatic bromine and this is the alkyl bromide. However, when you treat with n butyl lithium then this is formed because this is stable and now it adds to this alpha beta unsaturated sulfone to generate this species the negative charge at the alpha position of the sulfonyl group and now SN2 reaction will happen. So, this will react and bromine will be eliminated you get this product and this can be converted to morphine in few steps. So, this is a very important method that you generate a alkyl lithium species which does a conjugate addition to alpha beta sulfonyl and then again followed by second cyclization and you get this intermediate. This work was published in JOC. Transmetallation generally organo copper, organo tin and organo silicon, organo boron, phosphorus, cerium, sulfur compounds are prepared by reacting organo lithium reagents with appropriate electrophiles like R alkyl, MX, RM, lithium X. So, this is the exchange transmetallation. Suppose this oxazole when treated with n-butyl lithium this is formed however, this is unstable at minus 50 degree centigrade. How to make it stable and then you have to treat with zinc chloride. So, this zinc species is stable. So, this is very important this is the transmetallation lithium becomes zinc and now this compound you can treat in negacy coupling reaction. Zinc and this aromatic bromine and with a triyl triphenyl phosphine palladium as a catalyst you get this product in 90 percent yield. Some more examples lithium diorgano cuprates can be obtained by reacting alkyl lithium species with copper halide. The obtained organo cuprates are generally less reactive than organo lithium reagents towards aldehyde and ketones. The reaction pathway to transfer of a methyl group of a cuprate is start to acrolein. So, this is very important, this is less reactive, this cuprate species less reactive than alkyl lithium. And here we will discuss how a conjugate addition is happening. So, this acrolein first reacted with this one this coordination happens and after that this cuprate comes 
and cuprate adds to the double bond. So this species actually, Cu methyl, methyl, lithium, methyl. This is the compound Me2 Cu Li whole 2. And after that, that cuprate adds to the double bond. And now this becomes this bond cleavage here, and you get a copper 3. And now this methyl group will be adding here to get this enolate and this enolate can be converted after acidic workup to the ketone. So, this ketone can be obtained after uh, methyl group adds. So, this is the extra methyl group that adds to the from the this species. So, this is a very important conjugate addition is happening when Me2CuLi whole 2 is added to acrolyne. Name reactions, now we will discuss some name reactions of organolithiums, 1, 2 and 2, 3 Huttig rearrangement. The 1, 2 Huttig rearrangement of ethers with alkyl lithium to yield alcohols by 1 to shift, generally strong bases are used like phenyl lithium, migrates and follows the order, allyl, then benzyl, then ethyl, then methyl, pentyl. So, this is the migration order, allyl better than benzyl, than ethyl. Suppose if you have this ether, R1 is alkyl aryl or vinyl, R2 also alkyl aryl vinyl, then R lithium, then what happen? One CH will be deposited by this alkyl lithium species. This lithium is formed because this is stabilized by oxygen. Now, this carbon attacks here and this bond cleaves. So, this bond is break and you get this one to shift that is why it is called one to shift and this is the form. So, the, this oxygen carbon oxygen bond is clipped and this become now we get a alcohol. So, after treatment with aqueous work up you get the alcohol. So, alcohol is formed from an ether. Also, 2, 3 Huttig rearrangement is, is a sigma atomic rearrangement of alpha deprotonated allyl ether. So, here is allyl group is present OCH2 so this is allyl group and R1, R2 can be alkyl aryl phenyl. Now, alkyl lithium will deprotonate this one, here this lithium species will form and this adds to the double bond and the migration will happen and now this carbon oxygen bond will cleave. Here also after treatment to its acidic workup, you get this alcohol. So, both rearrangements here the allyl group is there, here also allyl is not there, but the alcohol is formed from ether. Sapiro olefination, sapiro reaction already we discussed. Now, it is a decomposition of paratocyl hydrogen with two equivalents of a strong base, usually butyl lithium. The reaction is to produce the olefins or vinyl lithium compounds. So, this is the hydrazone, butyl lithium. This proton getting deprotonated here, actually, both proton will get deprotonated, butyl lithium this also will deprotonate and after removal of sulfonyl group you generate this after nitrogen elimination you get the vinyl lithium and if you treat with just aqueous workup then you get the alkene and if you treat with electrophile then the electrophile will come here. Peterson olefination. Peterson olefination is the addition of alpha silyl carbonyl to carbonyl compound which yields olefin after the elimination of lithium trimethyl silanoate. This is the reagent that you have to add to the carbonyl compound trimethyl silyl lithiated species, then this compound will form. And now this will eliminate that is the lithium trimethyl silanoate and you get a olefin. So, like this you get a olefin here as the product. Cerium chloride modified Peterson olefination like this reagent with cerium chloride gives this intermediate TMS and alcohol and now with treatment with HF or strong base KH you get the olefin. This method can be also used for cyclic ketone. So, this is acyclic ketone, this is cyclic ketone and you get this product. In the Peterson olefination, the selectivity is very important like the reaction of benzaldehyde and silyl carbonyl gives the 3O product. If the silyl group is small, 
This implies that in the transition state, the two sterically demanding groups are anti. As the silyl group becomes more sterically demanding than trimethyl silyl, the selectivity shifts towards the erythro isomer. Like here, if you this silylated lithium compound, if you react with benzaldehyde, then you get this 3O isomer, and in the 3 isomer, these two uh, R3SI and O minus, these are in the scene, and this if it is only small, so like Me3SI, then only this 3O isomer will be stable. And after elimination, this 3O isomer will give trans alkene because you can see these two phenyl groups are in the opposite side of each other, so you get trans alkene. Also, there is a possibility that if this phenyl is in the top, then this erythro isomer will form. And in the erythro isomer, you can see this phenyl are in the seen to each other and this is only possible if this is big, big like SIPH3, then this erythro will form and this erythro will generate the cis alkene because you can see these two phenyls are in the same side, so this will be cis. Now, name reactions. A Peterson olefination, some more example of lithiated dimethyl methyl phosphonate with aldehydes, including alpha beta unsaturated aldehydes, proceeds with E selectivity in good deals. Like here, this compound with treated with n butyl lithium and defined aldehyde, aldehyde is used, and this will be the group here, bulk, uh, bulky group here, phosphonate, and E is the major. Here, suppose 100 is to 0. So, when R is equal to methyl, then you get 100 percent E, then R is equal to phenyl, you get 100 percent also, and R is equal to cinnamyl, then 85 percent. Now, if there is a fluorine is there, then also this reaction works and with a defined ketones, defined ketones the products can be obtained in defined ratio like here EZ ratio is formed on the other hand carbon and 2 methyl cyclohexanone the Z compound is major. So, here Z is major. Some more example of Peterson elimination here also a phenyl substituent is here R is 1 is equal to phenyl and double bond then with treatment with LDA and aldehyde you can get E selectivity is more phenyl. 4 methoxyphenyl. So, this is aryl system, aryl group, the E. On the other hand, if aliphatic group is there, then the Z is more. more. So, aliphatic group, then the Z is more, the selectivity getting reverse. And also, this paraphenyl substituted phosphogenes, Peterson olefination is possible, and you get this product. Now, we will discuss lastly parham cyclization. Parham cyclization is an example for halogen metal exchange of an aromatic ring followed by a ring closure reaction with the electrophile as part of a side chain. So, this is the side chain, this is living group, why is the living group halogen, T S mass, mesetyl, carbonyl, etcetera. Now, metal halogen exchange will happen and then the cyclization. This was published first in JOC by Parham in 1975. What is the mechanism? No, metal halogen exchange happens here and now this lithium will re react here, cyclization happens and you get this cyclic compounds. Some more examples here, the metal halogen exchange will happen and it adds to the, this is the amide group and you get the cyclized product in 67 percent yield. Also here metal halogen exchange will happen and then this will attack here and this will open, so you get this product in 69 percent yield. Also, cyano group can be used as a electrophile species and when this bromo compound is exchanged with lithium, lithium compound is generated, then this can attack to the cyano group to generate this imine species. So, this is imine species and this imines can be converted to carbonyl after acidic treatment. So, you can get this cyclic compounds. Also an isocyanate to form isoindone nolinone which was then converted to nitrone. So, this is the reaction here, here the lithium is formed and then this can react here, this 
double bond is moved here. So, you get this amide here and the nitrogen species further reacts with radicals which can be used as spin tires. So, this can be compound as converted to nitron spin trap for the biological radical process. So, today we have discussed lithium based reagents and first we have discussed different procedure for preparation. So, we have first discussed that uh, lithium treatment with alkyl bromide can generate n butyl lithium, then the CH proton and that can be uh, metallation that can be also possible uh, with n butyl lithium you can and that is possible mainly with aromatic system when a direct group in present then this um, uh, metallation is very possible. And also we have discussed the chiral metallation also is possible when spartin and chiral lithium species is generated. Then we have discussed the metal halogen exchange. So, metal halogen exchange also is possible and this is mainly useful for aryl system and aryl and vinyl species also this metal halogen exchange if a halogen group is there then with n butyl lithium you can generate this vinyl lithium or aryl lithium species which can be used for different reactions. Also trans metallation we have discussed like different metal like tin compound we have seen that it adds to the triple bond to generate the vinyl stannin and when it is treated with n butyl lithium then the tin is converted to the lithium species. Then we have discussed different reactions of um, this alkyl lithium species. So, different reactions like that um, metal halogen exchange we have seen that different electrophiles can be incorporated after metal halogen exchange. Also, the metallation reaction also we have seen the defined electrophiles can be incorporated and we have seen the conjugate addition. This is also very useful reaction for alkyl as well as aryl lithium species conjugate addition to alpha beta unsaturated ester and if a chiral ligand is present then you can control the selectivity. Also carbonyl 1 to addition also is possible and we have seen the selective 1 4 to 1 to addition if you put some HMPA then the 1 4 addition that is thermodynamic stable is forming. And with Spartan we have seen that chiral co coordination that is the actually that is the n buck pyrolidine even uh, aliphatic also n buck uh, cases with Spartan you can generate the chiral lithium species and that chiral lithium you can treat with different electrophile to generate the chiral compound. And lastly we have seen some name reaction like Sapiro reaction the hydrogen then the butyl lithium you generate the vinyl lithium and treatment with um, uh, defined electrophile you can get the substituted olefin. Also Peterson olefin we have seen that if trimethylsilyl group is there then you get the selectively E product. And lastly we have seen, seen the cyclization param cyclization where a metal halogen exchange is first occurred and then followed by cyclization reaction where electrophile is already present in the molecule then the cyclization will happen and this is very useful to define uh, get different cyclic product. Thank you.